Exclusive video of a dramatic takedown. Officers with guns drawn. What this guy did inside a gas station bathroom that had them taking aim. From record heat to rain in oh about a day, we are tracking where the rain is falling right now and what it could do to your commute. Oh, what's the address? My name is Mike. It's on Maya Linda, uh, where the trees fell down. We got hit by a tree. Only on 10 News, the emotional first meeting between the people on that phone call, 911 dispatcher, and our 10 News photographer. The teenager accused of pretending to be a doctor, speaking exclusively to ABC this morning. Why he says he put on a lab coat and started treating patients. Live from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hey there, 10 News breaking news checker live prowling and going around the streets today because as you can see rain on the windshield mm -hmm. you got wet roads this is happening in different parts of the county in fact megan's going to update us now on where you can see this because people are heading out yeah it, and we're seeing this thing drying out which we were ex exactly expecting it to do we've been tracking two bands all morning long i'm going to wait for this to reloop so you can see the first one that came through that made the wet roads in the first place now the second one is drying out as it's moving south which is exactly what we were saying yesterday that's what it's doing right now pinpoint doppler live activated right now so we won't miss a drop but we're only only seeing a few sprinkles to a few light showers valley center all the way up to palomar right now if you joined us about 30 minutes ago there was a steady band from encinitas all all the way to Ocean Beach and this is all that is left of it. We're going to be seeing conditions pretty much drying out into the afternoon, but the damage is already done. The roads are wet and traffic incidents are starting to pile up. Renee is going to have an update for us coming up at 61 degrees right now in downtown along the coastline. Temperatures staying in the 60s today, which is where we should be for this time of the year. 67 increasing sunshine into the afternoon and our inland areas a degree actually below average 68 more sunshine later. In 10 minutes, I'll have San Diego certified most accurate highs for how cool it will be where you live and how strong the winds have been howling. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Don't do it! Come on the ground! Don't move! Wow, this is 10 News exclusive video of a dramatic end to a police standoff. Officers, you can see, drawing their guns, yelling at the man there who had barricaded himself in that gas station bathroom. 10 News reporter Matt Mendez, live in Shelltown. This is near National City. So, Matt, tell us how the guy got there in the first place. Oh, Virginia, he actually walked in right through here, but these doors are locked, so he must have found a perfect opportunity to slip his way in there. He grabbed a drink and then barricaded himself in the storage room in the back. The clerk tried to get him to leave, but he wouldn't, so the clerk ended up calling the police. Our 10 News breaking news tracker was inside the store. Uh, they had their guns, uh, the cops had their guns drawn. This all happening at the gas station here in Shelltown. Now, uh, we're just off of Division Street. Uh, the guy was in there for about 15 minutes, holed up. Uh, but he tried to make an escape coming out of the side door. He didn't get very far. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Don't do it! I'm on the ground! Don't move! I'm on the ground! Do not move! I'm not moving! And the guy wasn't going anywhere. Cops have their guns drawn, their taser pointed at him, and a dog ready to chase after him. The guy was complaining that he was a diabetic and wasn't feeling well, so he did go to the hospital, but police uh, may end up charging him with drug charges once he gets released. Reporting live near at Shelltown near National City, Matt Mendes, 10 News. Thank you, Matt.